Okay, we're going to be painting this character now. Uh, yep, let's get started. Now, we've got it selected. We don't need this guy anymore, but we'll keep him anyway. Uh, first little thing to do, once we've finished our modeling a bit, just go up, edit, delete by type and history. All right, that just uh, clears your, your character up a bit and should maybe help a lot a bit later if you have a few, uh, if there's some mistakes happening, just go back and delete your history. All right, next thing we want to do, okay, we've got to make sure that we're in polygons up here. All right, and okay, I've got my character selected. All right, using the object mode. Now, I need to go up, create UVs, and automatic mapping. All right, so I'll just click on there. Here we go. Uh, these are just my settings. You can change them if you like. Uh, that should be all okay. Just six planes. Hit project. And there I go. All right, so I've just... Uh, well, I'll just show you what I've done. If I just go over here and look for a UV texture editor, you'll see that I've just uh, been able to, say, make my 3D object into uh, 2D. All right, that's okay. Now, got to make sure that I go back into object mode. Okay, select our character. And now I need to go into rendering. All right, there it is, up to rendering. And I'm just going to go texturing 3D paint tool and click on the options just here. All right, here we go. You can see them all. Here's our brushes the color of our brush, the flood or the fill of your, uh, your, yeah, of, your um, of your brush. All right, now we need to go down to here where it's saying um, file textures, attribute to paint, color. All right, there's others, but color's just good for now. Now we just want to assign edit textures. All right, here we go. All right, you can make it bigger if you like. I'm just staying with 256. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with the uh, IFF format. And there we go. Now I'm gonna assign edit textures. All right. Now, I should be able to paint. All right, but I can't see anything, okay? This is a problem a few people are having. So that's because when we were modeling, we were just using the default material. What we have to do is just go to shading and we just have to turn this off. All right, bang. All right, there we go. Now you can see another problem I have. All right, if I just try to change a different color, is that I'm kind of getting this transparency. All right, it's not really uh, what I want. What I have to do is um, I'm just going to go back and select my hyper shade, all right? And I'm just going to select another Lambert, click and drag over, okay? So I've just put a new Lambert on, and now I'll just have to just do that again, all right? So texturing. 3D paint tool. Okay, click on the options. Here we go. All right, down, down, down. Assign edit textures. There it is. All right, good, that works. Now you can see my brush. Now, if I press and hold B, B for banana, and then I move my mouse button left and right, I can make my brush bigger or smaller. All right. 
So let's just press and hold B. All right. And there I go. All right. So there's my colors. Okay, maybe if I wanted a flood, I can just click on the color. All right. Choose a nice ugly green, accept, and flood paint. All right. There I go. These are my colors. I'll use a red. Okay. Press and hold B. And there I have it. All right. Pretty, uh, pretty simple. But just uh, follow a few things. Um, if you do have some problems with transparency or color, yep, just make sure that yep, you've just turned it off down there. Okay. That's, uh, that's painting.